Attention inhabitants of Concepcion. Measures for your safety will soon come into effect. Conclude your business and return home. Anyone found on the street after curfew is engaging in anti-government action and will be shot on sight. You and Carlito did some renovations at the museum. Well, if anyone shows up at this door with a tank, they're still going to need the password. Let's go, Danny. We need to talk. There's these farmers in Sombreado Gorge. They're super fans of La Moral. Actually, they're super fans of me. They were part of my fan club when I was on the national team. They tipped us off to this special convoy that always rolls through Shao Pass. We put together a smash and grab attack plan, and I told my super fans to sit tight until they hear the word knuckleball. Nobody knows what this fancy convoy is carrying, but we know it's valuable. Benitez always slams it with crazy security. A hundred soldados. Danny, we need you to hit the convoy. I'm sure you can handle this all by yourself. But if you want some help, my people are pumped and ready to go. I'll keep tabs on the convoy and let you know when it's near the pass. Don't know about you, but I fucking love hearing convoys. farmers yet to hit the pass? Remember, say the word knuckleball. Not yet. You think I can't do this on my own? We need people to feel like they're part of this fight. They have the RPGs you need along with other badass shit. And remember, there's no I in team. But there is an I in win. Cool, cool. I guess everyone in El Este can go to the beach while you're overthrowing Castillo alone. I'm kidding, Honron. I'll think about recruiting your super fans. Gracias. La moral better you can. Que hola? Does the word knuckleball mean anything to you? It sure does. You want us at the pass, right? Si. I'll meet you there. You're the one who saved our people on that cargo ship, no? That's me. My cousin was one of them. Muchas gracias. De nada. Let's go get this convoy. I'll get my mortar. Mortar time, compai!
shit. What day is today? When I say the word knuckleball, what's that remind you of? Setting up an ambush of the pass, fucking up the convoy, taking whatever they're carrying, and fighting with Honron. Dio mio, you're ready. I have been waiting to get the go-ahead for months. Vámonos, guerrilla. I've been waiting to use my rocket launcher. RPG is locked and loaded. Hola. Drop the coconuts. Knuckleball is a go. Bingo. I thought this day would never come. We need to piece off Benitez and spread out her forces. Music to my ears, guerrilla. See you at the pass. I'll bring the road spikes. Perfecto. We get to use them. I'm at Shaub Pass. Cool. I'm keeping an eye on the convoy. I'll let you know when it's close. What should I do in the meantime? Hold the position. Hide. And wait. Waiting is like the most important thing a guerrilla can do. Right? See? Si. Just sick. ready to roll. I Why don't it you scroll my your socials? I don't do socials. Maybe play a game on your phone? I don't do games. What is this convoy? It's coming. What about meditation? Not my thing. You should try. I used to meditate before all my big games. Come on, Danny. Breathe in. Nice and slow. No thanks. Empty your mind. Visualize the convoy. Imagine yourself floating and blowing it up. And breathe out. I'm hanging up now. <sighs> Empty your mind. Visualize the convoy. <sighs> Shit. That actually worked. I feel calm as hell. I got you now. I'm so fucking nervous. I mean, I trained every day with my machete. But coconuts don't fight back. I've been working on my aim for weeks. Honron said I need to practice shooting every day.
open. <gasps> Jackpot. Mean looking cocodrilo. This is going to help a montón. I heard you hit that convoy. See? Si. Home run's heading your way with the cash. Good job, Danny. Any battle we get will go a long way in this fight. Admiral Benitez has increased patrols now. So watch the roads. Okay. Mis amores, it's me again. Rosa Mel Paquete. to say what you need to hear. This message is approved by the Minister of Culture. Do you remember? You and Carlito did some renovations at the museum. Hi. Hey. Over here. That little speech went better than I expected. I need you to go to the Grand Hotel Caballero. It used to be a resort for wealthy touristas, but Benitez converted it into some sort of prison torture hellhole. One of our fighters, Hugo, is being held there. Which means he's got an appointment with the dentist. The regime's best interrogator. If the dentist gets any information out of him, we're fucked. He's got a good heart, but Hugo will crack like a fucking coconut. You need to stop that interrogation, whatever it takes. I already sent a scout to the hotel. She'll help when you get there. And one of Gilberto's people can get you past the guards if you hide in the back of his delivery truck. But you better hurry. The truck is leaving soon from the delivery yards. Benitez can't find out where we are, Danny. You headed to the Grand Hotel Caballero. There's a truck leaving from the delivery yards, if you want the lift. Buena. Hey, I'm driving up to the hotel. I could sneak you past the guards. Hop in. <laughs> oh, she! You're doing this mission? Hell yeah. I hate dentists. Me too. They say when you're in her chair, you either give up information or your life. Or both. I'm going to have to find Hugo quickly. Our scouts are already in position and ready to help. You heard Yelena earlier. That was the voice we needed. Sometimes it's hard to tell if we're winning or losing, you know? We're going to win this thing. I promise you that. from command. Yeah? Okay. Open up and let's take a look. I don't know. It's only for your boss to open. 
I don't even know what's inside. The fuck you talking about? Hey, that's what I was told. You can open it if you want. The dentist said nobody was allowed to look inside. Oh, it's for her. Fuck that. Go on. Head up. I thought dentists were always late. Not this one. Fucking hell. What is with Castillo and Teeth? They've got a medic. Dentist is dead. La morale is safe. For now. <sighs> That's fucking great news, Danny. Oh, and I'm working on a gift for you. Gift? The hotel. I'm taking it. They tortured their last guerrilla here. You sure you're not La Morale, Danny? I'm just saying.
Come here. <laughs> what do you want the people of Yara to know about the conflict? <laughs> conflict? It's business as usual. Look, in spite of all the rumors going around, there's no war. At least not here in Eastern Yara. Am I right, Admiral? This is not a war. Yeah. The criminals of La Libertad will be stopped. Yeah. There are few, we are many. You hear that? And... Libertards? This means chica. She means business. And what about the violent gang known as La Moral? Anyone who attacks Yara's military or a business interests is not a true Yaran. My strategy... And I helped her with the strategy. I've got decades of experience. I ran a security firm. The East is safe. Am I right? Right. No prea capas por nada. That's a cut. I gotta go. Señor Presidente. Admiral, so lovely to hear your voice. If I could ask, how is it that a group of school children in El Este are inflicting the highest number of active duty casualties of this war? Admiral? They, um, they have support from Libertad and the Legends. I've always taken a personal interest in your career. Handpicked you out of the Academy. But make no mistake, there were more experienced, more qualified, and more intelligent officers in line before you. You stood out for one simple reason. Si, sí, señor presidente. You were a woman in uniform. And now you could be the highest ranking woman ever to have her head on a pike. Gracias, señor presidente. Higher! I want them higher! Hola. 